Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you two things. Fat quantification and water quantification. I'm going to easily show you step by step how you can do this. Stay tuned, I'll show you. Thanks for tuning in on my channel, guys. And for those who are new, my name is Bakni again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. A few of you guys have asked me how you can do fat quantification. So I'm going to show you today how you easily can do this by applying a 2D tubus Beneco Dixon or 3D if you want to. But I'm going to show you how easily this can be done. A few steps and then you have the map or the sequence if you want to call it. And this will also make your radiologist happy because he or she can then do a region of interest in the packs and then you will get a fat percentage or water percentage. Enough talking, let's go to the scanner and I'll show you. All right, we're currently at three Tesla, but it doesn't matter, you can do this on 3T or 1.5. So in front of you here, you have a 2D tubus Beneco. I'm just gonna position here. It's a Dixon, of course, 2D Dixon. So we're gonna do an LS spine. I'm just gonna apply that one and get some images so we can do the fraction. Okay, so in front of you here now, you have four sequences. It's only scan one, but it's a Dixon, so you get to have opposite face, in face, fat only, and water only, right? So we're gonna do some magic right here now. Before I do the quantification, I'm just gonna check that the images has not been swapped or you get artifacts, right? So I'm just going to check here the F for fat. If it's the fat images, that's correct. It's not swapped there. And the water, is it the water images? Also correct. Okay, now we're good to go. If not, you only have to think otherwise, right? But now we're going to try to get the fat quantification first. So it's a formula right here. The formula says that you're going to have fat divided by fat plus water. So how can we apply this on the scanner directly to get the new sequence or the new the quantification information, right? So we're gonna mark fat and water. We're gonna go to evaluation, dynamic analysis, and we're gonna add. So this means that you're gonna add fat and water all together. It says here, add sequence 13 and sequence 14. I don't never erase this information because if I erase it, I don't know which sequence I did put together. So I only have it there as a backup if I want to get back and take a look at what did I really add. So I'm just gonna rename it behind here, fat plus water. And then I put okay. You can write whatever you want. It's so important that you know what you, you wrote. Okay, and now we're gonna mark the fat images and we're gonna to try to divide that by fat plus water, right? So we mark these two, we go to evaluation, and we go to divide. And it says here now, fat plus water divided by fat. That's wrong, we need to exchange this. So it's an easy step. That's the exchange, there you go. So now it's fat divided by fat plus water, just like the equation I showed you. And we're gonna rename it down here. Like that. Fat divided by fat plus water. And there's one more step you need to do. You need to go to scaling and put the factor of thousand because it will be easier for you whenever you're doing a region of interest and the information we get out there is be easier for you to read. And then we're gonna do a test before we plot apply. I just choose a middle slice and do a test just to see if the images comes out as I want it. And it seems perfect there, okay. And then I put okay. Okay, we drag and drop the sequence into the viewing and now we can do a region of interest measurements right here. Let's put it on the fat there. And it says, yeah, 101, so it's 100% fat, that's correct. Let's put it right there. So it's 86% or so. Let's put it in water. It should be, yeah, it's not much fat there, which is correct. 
let's put one there yeah 95 percent so this is very good if you have a lesion if you're wondering is fat there how much fat it is you can do a quantification so it's a very easy step i create it and you can send it to pax okay so now we're going to do another step we're going to try now to get the water quantification so what you're going to do now is that you're going to mark fat plus water the equation for this one is water divided by fat plus water, right? So, what images and this image down here, fat plus water, dynamic analysis, divide. So, we're going to do exchange, right? Equation is water divided by fat plus water. The same here, uh, the rename it water divided by fat plus water. Okay, and then we're going to go to scaling, put a thousand there. We'll go and do a test just to check. The images seems correct. Okay. And now we're going to mark these two and just drag it to viewing and I will show you the differences between fat and water. This is fat percentage. This is water, right? So see the CSF is bright and the fat is dark. So it's opposite. So let's try to check it out here. Let's put on our region of interest. And there we, yeah, okay. There's a lot of water there. Not much fat. It's correct. And let's do it down here. So it's fat down there. And it's not much water in there. A little bit. So that's how you can easily make fat and water and do the quantification. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I also made a PDF file for you so you can have it on your phone or print it out or whatever you want to. It's easy step by step, which uh, I just show you now directly at the scanner, but um, you can get it for free. Just click on the link in the description down below and you can download it. Well, I do have a question for you before we close up. Did you know how to do this fat quantification and water quantification? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. So stay safe and I catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.